Hey guys, Darth Gorg here, back with part 8 of our Mass Effect playthrough. So, last time we did a few little side missions. Now, last uh, our last part was shorter than your average Mass Effect part because I was trading places. Uh, I uh, We did a little bit longer on the Battle of Middle Earth video and we therefore this one was much shorter. And uh, luckily after editing everything like lengthwise was really short and that was fine. Um, but now of course we are back to normal. So uh, I did record part one of our brand new campaign on Battle for Middle Earth. It is the good campaign and we did three missions and we did three missions and so we got uh, done quite a bit and uh, we're good to go for tomorrow. So, now last time on this game, we did a few side missions. Nothing that fantastic, but we did a few little side missions. We wrapped up uh, enough so that now, today, we can do a main story mission, and that's what we will be launching into first. So that's really, really cool. Very excited about that. So, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Without further ado. Hang on, I gotta take a drink. Okay, now. We are headed for Pharos, I believe. Yes, because we got Vermeer second. Um, so because we got Vermeer second, Pharos is our number one priority. Because, uh, yeah. So and we have to do Ver we have to do Pharos. Yeah. So we have to do Pharos. We have to do Vermeer, uh, and then I think that'll be all the pieces we need to possibly see Saren? Question mark. We'll have to see. Alrighty, let's do it. Pharos. I'm ready. I'm ready. And our relationship with Liara is going well. We, uh, she got nervous because she said, look, I am interested in you. Am I just, am I just blind? And I'm like, no, Liara, there is definitely a connection. There is love in the air. I can feel the sparks. And I know you can too. You know the rules, and so do I. <laughs> Sorry, I, I could, couldn't resist. Has the deck. All right, take care of the ship, Presley. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? The team, the dream team, is assembled. Now we can continue on our way, and we'll see how uh, how well it goes. But I'm fairly hopeful. Hello, David Altalakani. I can't pronounce your last name. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look out! Oh, jeez, he's very dead. Pull! Liara, darling, you've trapped me in here. Please let me out. <laughs> Liara, please! <laughs> I had to instruct her to move. <laughs> the grenade is is pretty sweet, man. I am learning. I am getting the hang of it. I feel like it's just that you can't just like lob it across the world basically is what I'm more or less discovering here is that you can't just like lob it across the universe and expect just a perfect kill this is not Call of Duty okay uh, I'm finding that the best way to do it is because you can obviously guide exactly where it's gonna go um, the hard part is figuring out depth perception is figuring out how far or close something is from you and so I think the best way to do it is like that where those guys are around the corner now obviously it would be a little dangerous for me to just go bopping around the corner with complete trust that it'll be alright and so the perfect compromise is that if I lob the grenade, I know exactly where it's going to go, so, you know. Well, well, looks like I have company in the rafters. And he doesn't know that I know where he is. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. Girls okay? All right, we're good. They're just little baby geth. I was trying to get to the wall, but it's whatever. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. Those geth are bloody dangerous. Glad to see some soldiers. Numbers are getting thin. Dying first, the geth will surely kill us all. 
Oh, you guys are just doom and gloom, aren't you? Well, that's what happens when you're being attacked, lady. Yeah, that's what, it's going around, apparently. Okay. So essentially, I get the feeling none of them are going to say anything until we talk to the leader. So, let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah. Let's see. Wrong room, ladies, but I feel like we're feel like we're getting warm. Aha! I see the marker on the map. This way. Nope. We are getting warmer though for sure. Bye, Dan. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Oh, don't be such babies. It's just like three geth, okay? Calm down, you sniveling cowards. See what I mean? It's so good. It's like, it's something you can lob around a corner blind. Alright, hang on. We gotta switch weaponry right here. Relax, dude. You ain't gonna die. Punk. Alright. Just like that, we're good. See, told you, you bunch of babies. It was like three geth. Calm down. Protect the heart of the... We've got geth in all right. the tower! So, I guess that it's not just the six that you saw. I guess that I'll just go and clear the tower, I suppose? Alright, then. Did you die? No, oh, well, you're, you're MIA, so. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, whatever. We'll just press on and we'll just kill every geth we see. Eventually, it'll be like, you did it. Problem is, it's the height that we're having problems with. Ow, jeez. Incoming! Um. Problem is, it's they're pretty far away for a uh, assault rifle. We're good. Don't worry, ladies. I'll get them. Oh, that destroyer felt that. Just like that. Just like that. Now, we're safely out of the Normandy. The Geth base is our next objective. True that, my love. True that. All right. Eh, well, odds are we'll be back here. It's fine. All right. Yep. You see how much better it is with that with that rifle? How much like more steady the uh, sniper is? That's what happens when you dump a lot of points. Now, I want to dump more because you can get it really steady if you dump enough points into it. So, consider, and considering how good the, the sniper rifle is, I really want to dump a lot of points into it. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. We'll get going then. Good luck, Commander. 
Hey. Now I wonder, really quick. Now I think we're actually we're gonna go check around the colony a, a little bit, only because um, if memory serves, there's a, there's like side missions you can do. Do you have something new to I'm say? I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. All right, well, rude. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the gap. <laughs> well, screw you, lady. Goodbye. Commander. Well, screw you, lady. Don't you go blaming me for all of your problems, all right? Like, I had nothing to do with your issues. It's not, I just, I'm just, I just follow orders, okay? My, my mission is to stop, you know, Saren and save the whole freaking galaxy. So pardon me if I can't, like, cry over your needs, idiot. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fai Dan. He knows the colony better than me. Goodbye. Good luck out there. Yeah, I'll have to uh, talk to Fidan about whatever the heck that was about. But I think there's a couple of little side missions you can do while you're out. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you if you wish. Let me see what you have. Oh, he's a uh, I may be he's a shop. Pay. Okay, well let's go ahead and see if he has a unique item. Oh, he does. Nice. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, now maybe it was the lady with the water. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. Your top-of-the-line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. There we go. All right, that's one of them. and I, I think she's the other one. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. I have to go. I wish you luck. There we go. Okay. Now we have a couple of side missions that we can do while we're out, because you might as well multitask. But on the way out, really quick, we're gonna... Oh, I should probably check with you. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have to go. So long. Okay, there we go. So I, I guess I guess he was another one. But again, we might as well grab all these because we're going to be out there anyway. And so you might as well multitask, get lots of free experience. Okay, but really quick on the way past, I want to ask about what the heck the weird that lady was talking about. Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus' hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. Some of the colonists are acting. We've been over this, Commander. The colonists are my concern. The Geth are yours. All right. Well, forget you, bro. I'll talk I was to just you asking why your people are acting like zombies, but all right. 
None of my concern, I guess. Okay, so we have plenty to do outside now. We, I think we have three little side missions, but odds are we'll stumble upon them. Most likely. Now, I know one of them is this way to Prothean Skyway. Alright, hang on. I want to look around everywhere that's not going to leave instance first. So, you know, one step at a time here. Now, considering this is uncharted territory, let's go ahead and uh, bring out my weapon. Ready for anything. But yeah, I want to look around anything that's not like leaving the instance before we get too far. Oh, God. They're oh geez. Whoa. Where'd they go? Ah, oh, you little bugger. Man, that lady got just destroyed. Alright, let's go, ladies. Let's go. Still, proof that we're on the right path, question mark? Alright, well, let's just continue going this way until we know anything about what's happening. Ah, okay. I think I know what this is. I think this is all the water tank stuff. So, this is one of our missions. So, let's go ahead and head this way. I thought I was also something evil. Dead. Alright, now I think... Is that the only water valve in here? I think so. Alright. First, let's get that open. Looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. I agree, Tally. I think there's probably three of them, because in games, everything comes in threes. Come on, it's simple common knowledge. Okay. There is a Varen above me. <laughs> She's all, he all goes levitating. How did that not count as a hit? Assuming he's still alive, considering you guys are just opening up. How? He's like he's like the Matrix puppy. Hey, the Varen falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the alpha male, uh, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. All right. Cool. Well, there's one. One of one of our side missions. So let's go ahead and finish. Let's get assault rifles or snipers all the way up. Um, let's give her another lift, considering she uses it pretty. She uses it a lot. Her. Let's see. Then let's give you a higher shotguns, considering that's what I have you using the majority of the time. All right. Then let's go ahead and poke up here just a little bit. There is a container. For some rando armor. Whole bunch of money, too. Which is good. Ah, power cells. This old, the old, this old disabled vehicle was more willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one would expect. Aha. Uh, some upgrades. Perfect. Cool. Well, there's like two of our missions done. All right. Now we just have to think about water. Water. All right. Continuing on our way. Another sweet grenade kill. I'm getting pretty good at those, man. Okay, uh, just wanted to make sure we don't miss a water valve. Because previously I've had a bad habit of getting, like... Not like totally lost, but like missing a water valve because it was facing the opposite way than you would believe. Well, hello, mysterious man. You don't want to go down there. What's back there? I could tell you. Tell you everything. How would you like that? No! That was a good one. 
What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the... Ah! I'm trying to get to the... Dying! <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. I don't have time for this. Well, don't stay too long. Or time will be all you have. Yeah, the nut job is on his own. <laughs> Dude has completely lost his ever loving mind. Okay, let's go ahead and look look across the way here. Okay. So he's the dead end on one side then, so that means the other water valves must be the other direction. So let's go then. Now this is where we came out of and we know there's no water valves in there. So this time, okay. And then we'll check this last bridge and then we'll head back the other direction. Okay, other direction it is then. Ah, here's one. The system has not yet activated. I do not believe we are finished yet. We should look for another valve. Indeed. Now there is there there's two. Now if I think that is where we came from with the whole Varen thing, I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe not. Yep, I'm gonna go with or not. See that sweet sidestep just There's another one in here. Whoa. Whoa. Interesting. Careful, Tally. Sorry, I had to risk it. Knock, knock. Upgrade kit. And another grenade, which is good, because I have been spending a lot of my grenades. Technician kit. Transmitter tower. Huh. Oh, yeah, it was a Geth transmitter. Tell Fiden you... Okay, to, Fiden will want to know that you destroyed a Geth transmitter. Head back and inform him. Okay. And then Varen meat, obviously. Water restoration. I need one more valve. And then power cells. I have to deliver. So we have lots of reasons. The last thing we need is I just have to go back and find... I have to find the one more valve. But I think it's... All that is is just the other way from where we came in. So that's not very hard. So... From uh, where we came in, I think you have to go left instead of right. And then I think the last valve will be there. Ah, the final valve. Beautiful. I love being right. That's it. The system is active. Indeed. Now we can uh, head on back, which I'm pretty sure is this way. I mean, hopefully. Okay, here we are back at the colony. So first of all, Fidan. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Is there anything I can do to solve your Marker wish? Doyle has been assigned. Alright, hang on. I'll we we can... I don't have to run everything past him. I We will come back to him once I've turned everything else in. Because obviously we've done everything else. Because, yeah, otherwise it's just double for no reason. Hello again, Commander. I killed the Big Baron. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. Hey. It's not much. Almost ten grand. Be like, yeah, that's, uh, not, not much. Nice work with those Geth. 
Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Hey, 30 Omni Gel and almost an 80, another 8800, and some more Paragon points. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Hey, 17,000 and another 8 points. Oh man, see, the kids, this is what you get for actually being on, t being on the ball. Alright, now we can go tell Fidan that I've solved every one of his problems. And he's welcome. Bye, Dan. I did all your dirty work. Commander, what can I do for you? There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Okay. So there's a lot of completed stuff there. And I think that's all of every all the side stuff we had to do here. So now we can continue on our way. And uh, I think we'll probably... I think we're going to summon that uh, that little elevator McDougal there. I think that will be the right the right plan. All right. Open sesame. Watch out. Whoa. All right, hang on, hang on. I don't know how much more I can take. You kids okay? All right, we're good. Let's just get Switch to this, so that way it's and not, not a nasty surprise. Not something an intelligent being would typically say. <laughs> Indeed, my love. But at last, we must do it. Oh, please. Now, technically, you can just charge through without fighting everything, but there's lots of good loot and lots of good points in killing them all, obviously. So, anyway, bam, there we go. There's another maxed out, now we have maxed out sniper. Now we can work on everything else. All right. Uh, now, let's get you better electronics, because obviously I use that all the time. And then, let's finish up your shotgun. All right. And we have lots, of course, lots of equipment, but odds are we'll go through all of that when we're not quite in the middle of something. All right. Like I said, you can totally pass them, but there's lots of good stuff in killing them all. Lots of good experience. So, and obviously killing things with the Mako is uh, one of the easier ways to go about killing things. So you might as well. Got us on visual. We must be close. Indeed. Dealing with the Geth is more important. Also true. All right. Let's go, girls. Let's see if these guys are friendly. Hello, people. That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. 
They're surviving despite everything the Geth have done to them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Do not worry. I will let you know. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. Good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? That's a great question. It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I'd appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I say. Alright, that doesn't sound highly illegal. I'm mostly looking for people with names, because it usually means they're fairly important. Do you have a name? Nope. Okay, that's probably all. Cool, okay. We will go in, we'll look for the daughter, we'll find the data while we're in the main facility. And, uh, yeah. And of course, the, obviously, you know, the main, the main objective. Obviously. Okay. But first, let's go ahead and give it a save, though, because, you know, you don't want to have to, don't want to have to repeat. Ain't nothing worse than a repeat. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Alright, mister, I think I can hide in this tunnel completely safe. I see you on my mini-map. Idiot. Although it does make you wonder. I've actually never gotten out, not once, in all the playthroughs I've done. I've never actually left the vehicle when I'm doing this part of the whole thing. But uh, obviously there's some good stuff in it. I might keep an eye on that. And I'm actually, this time, I'm mostly, usually, previously, all I ever do is I just rush through. But now that I'm actually taking my time, I'm finding that there's actually a lot of good stuff if you take your time a little bit. All right, gonna be kind of a flanking situation. Huh? Guess that guy's not in here. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> I like how his strategy was cower. It's just like he's like, maybe they won't notice. It's like, yeah. Problem, dude. I noticed. Ooh, there is something down ahead. What are this? Assault rifle? Ooh. Wow, I'm already almost near my limit. Holy crap. I didn't realize I had that much gear already. The Geth have moved up quickly. Resistance will be extremely heavy once we are inside. Wait for it. Eventually, there you go, just like that. I was rolling past the door. <laughs> you cannot escape me. All right, that's good enough.
Now it said jammed in the Mako. Which would leave someone to believe that there was more in here. But I'm also not sprinting, so the da the danger can't be that close. I don't think there'll be anything back here. But they also allow you to go back here, so it's like... It kind of seems suspicious. Okay. I'm just crazy. I'm just crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm just a little unwell. I know. Alright. Um, too bad you can't jump. Otherwise, I was just going to jump that little gap. But alas, you cannot... Okay, feels like it's been forever since I actually did any commentary, because I had to go through our inventory again, and you could just spend, like, your whole life sorting inventory. You'll just, like, die of old age. Sorting inventory. Wow, that was easy. It was only three. Incendiary... I should really start doing this, like reducing it to Omni Gel right in the middle, of, right in the beginning. I mean, we're actually at 999 Omni Gel, so I guess we actually don't need to even then. Uh, let's see. Ammo, armor, energized weave. Let me just reduce all those to Omni Gel, because we don't need it. Whoa, lo! Whoa, lo! Shoot her! Alright. Heavens above! Tally, are you okay? <laughs> Tally just took a blast from that thing. Like, to the head. She's good. It's fine. Man, it's amazing what drops in on your head, huh? Luckily, Tally's shields are already back, and her health is coming back slowly. We're good. Heaven's above. Okay, so obviously you can drop down there, but you can't get back up, so choose wisely. I'm assuming. Touch a field like this. We'll need another way in. True that, my love. And I've already found one. A one-way trip down, Commander Shepard. Exactly. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a quick save. Yeah, quick save. Just so... Ugh, in case anything goes horribly wrong. Tally, are you okay? Your health is coming back. Slowly. Alright, we're committed now. We are committed now, man. Damn it. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Jack or one of those barons. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. A few Geth won't stop me. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that, exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Well, that's easy. And Look thank that, that idiot dude didn't think we'd find her alive. Baron. Oh, it was a sight. Oh, the frames. 
All right, well, those Varen killed my frames much more than they actually killed my health. You see that sweet response time? Sorry, I shoved you off, Tally. Anyway, you guys see that sweet response time? Just like, da -da 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 -da. Wow, it actually has water physics. I mean, not much, but some. More than I thought a game of this age would have. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> it's the little things, I guess, that impress you. All right, let's go, guys. We have some geth to stop. See how slow you look left to right. Everybody be quiet. Someone sounds upset. No, I don't want to review protocol. <laughs> I am There's a Krogan commander. He's upset. Contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want, or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust. Please contact your supervisor for a level four security exemption, or make an appointment with. Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Dead. <laughs> it's just funny because Liara hit him with the field, and uh, that worked out. The discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. Your pilot should be warned. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We must find a way around the field. We must get back to Zoo's Hope. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode. All right, so. Interesting. Well, now we know why the colonists act so stinking weird. It's because they're a control group for the Thorian. Without, you know, which they, of course, know, probably know nothing about, I imagine. But uh, I imagine they probably know nothing about it. While, of course, their bosses knew all about it. They just didn't care. His health didn't change, so I just assumed it wasn't working. <laughs> the Geth used these claws to anchor their ships to the sides of buildings. Indelicate, perhaps, but very efficient. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. Interesting. But wait. Oh. Got plenty of Omni Gel. We got some light Turian armor, which I could give to, uh. I could check. I could see if it's better for what for him. Alright, just take it all. Take it all. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. 
Interesting. Alright. This way, kids. So there's some fried colonists. Okay. Alright, hang on. Let's look around at least for a second. Alright, nothing there. I gotta find which way, whichever way's a dead end. So that goes somewhere. Alright, let's check out this one first. Crap. They all lead somewhere actual. Dang it all. Let's open this first. This is average decryption, even though it was only three. Lols. Everybody good? Where are they? I mean, I don't know for sure, but... Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Ah, there is more enemies ahead. Some big ones. Alright, well, at least it proves that we're not crazy. Definitely hits. I definitely killed some. <laughs> I got another one. Hang on, I feel like we're about to have a danger close type of situation. Oh, that's not going to help, is it? Indeed. Alright, so leveling up. We are working on let's see, commando is good. But yeah, we're we're going up Spectre training. We're gonna max out Spectre training, because it, it affects everything, obviously. And for her, we're maxing out electronics. And for her, giving her first aid wouldn't be bad. If it's an asset we lacked at the other claws, we dislodge even one claw. Again, it says average and it's only three. Uh, pistol, shotgun, heavy armor. Interesting. Hard decryption. Yeah, well, just let's not risk it. Geth invasion. According to data retrieved from this console, the Geth are preparing for a major offensive in Citadel space. If this information is accurate, they're amassing a significant force somewhere in the Armstrong Nebula. Interesting. The more you know. Alright, private log of Dr. Gamrole? Gamrol? I don't know. I don't trust this Cerberus group. They may pay us well, but if this gets out before we're developed before we've developed an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they what they want the samples for, or why they or why they wanted them delivered to the Matt Tano system. My records show nothing of interest out there. Ah, uh, lots of new places to check out. Hang on, one thing at a time here. That's not something, is it? Okay. Activate shuttle bay doors. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. Uh, the damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. 
looks fine if the PSI is, is 30 or lower, but the safety shutoff kicks in if the PSI gets above 34. If the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through a metal I-beam. Somebody fix this before one of my team loses an arm to that thing. Ah, I remember this. Alright, so, it's all about getting it between those points. So let's see, we have lots of options here. Just some simple mass. Alright, so that's 4, that's 24. 24, 20, that would be 3rd, okay. 11, 13, 7. Uh, that might not be right. Wow, that was easy. Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. I repeat, Norman need a shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Norman need a shore <coughs> party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. <laughs> this place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Yeah, that's right. I got math skills. Thanks for noticing. I can count in small quantities. <laughs> I'm a hero. All right. Another crate, sniper, sniper, those are probably both almost certainly garbage. Okay, uh, looks like now we can head back, and uh, yeah, looks like now we can head back. There you ah, there we go. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I, I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. Where's the Thorian? The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Ah, interesting. Okay, one thing first, though, and I'll only show it if something good happens, but when we first got here, there was options. There was, like, one of the ways led to, like, one of the ways led to a stairwell, and, like, the other way led up somewhere else. I want to go check out where the other one leads, so give me just one second. Although there is enemies ahead, so maybe we're on the right track already. Ah, oh, see what I mean? How about that? I didn't even, I probably didn't even have to cut away. We're already at somewhere interesting. Ah, see? Haha! -ha. This is what you look around. There's the console I need. And then there's a locker. And a couple new things we'll check out. After a few seconds, you secure Gavin's design data. Perfect. That's what I wanted to check out. Okay. Now we can go ahead and take off. Is there anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Get away from that radio. What was that all about? This is Julia. 
a great question. Alright, easy. I was gonna go look into it as well. Alright. Let's go, everybody. We have to go figure out WTF is happening down here. Hey! John, you moron. What are you doing? You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Oh, Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. Not this time, Jong. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. I just domed that kid. Just domed that guy. <laughs> I was like, yeah, shut up. They're not gonna miss you either. All right, anti-thorian gas. So if you're wondering why I have, why my grenades have no upgrades anymore, it's because I am a smart cookie and I del accidentally deleted my, the upgrade that I had in my grenades so that they were really, really cool. Now they are not very cool and that's why. Also, look at this armor. It's way better than what I'm wearing. Ooh, and the and the color scheme is cool, is better too. It's everybody wins. All right, uh, those are all suckish and that's all suckish. And that is better. Fantastic. And both of them are already using the fives. And we can get rid of that one too, because they're using my old one. That sniper is that's exactly what I'm using, but just better in every way, so that's an upgrade. We can get rid of all of these, because obviously none of my compadres use snipers. Fantastic. A couple of Tyrian armors, which we'll check. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and mark those as seen. Let's give it a save. And the world will be better off without Jong, he's a moron. And now we can uh, go ahead and see if we can save some colonists. If we're lucky. Now, the reason the what the reason why we're doing this Okay, really I'm already sidetracked. Really quick. Man, I look so much cooler than the yellow. I didn't mind the yellow and the black. Really I didn't. But man, I just like this like gray or black color. It's so much more cool looking. And now my team looks more intense. Also, the other super cool thing, like when those security guards were like, holy crap, and then like Liara and Tally are like, do something. <laughs> and Liara all lights up with biotics. So it's like, yeah, I would not recommend crossing either of them. <laughs> that was so stinking cool. All right, anyway, we can move on with our lives back to the colony, and we will see if we can save them. But anyway, what I was saying is, the reason why I am... Wow, this thing's hard to drive. Anyway, uh, the reason why I am trying so hard to save them is, believe me, it actually comes in handy later. Uh, there is... There is... This this comes in handy in game three, actually. If you try and save... If you save them, so... 
We are going to try our very best to actually make sure they don't die on us. Believe me, it's a good plan. Creepy. <laughs> no amount of infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. All right, let's do this, kids. Very carefully now. We're going to give it a save, because just in case we screw it up, we can back up and back out and rethink our lives. And, uh... But, I am hopeful we can do it. I am a capable fellow. Hang on, hang on. To deal with zombies, you need shotgun. The best zombie killing weapon. Holy cow. Alright. We're good. No one panic. We're fine. It was a one grenade got wasted because somehow it said it didn't count or whatever, but it absolutely should have. Let me just say that. Alright. So, uh, hitting around, I'm pretty sure there will be more grenade refills because obviously the game knows if you're trying to save him, you won't have enough grenades to do it. Um, so there, there should be more grenades hiding around, so it should be alright. Okay. Back at the top. Now we can actually give that another save because obviously that first group went well. So now we can give it another save. Alright, there's another group right here, but that is no big deal. And there, there is an auto save as well, obviously. As you have already noticed. Knocked out. I think she hit her face on the rock. I only have two grenades left. They better give us tally, please. Not tally. Liara, please. Don't don't corner trap me. I know you think this I know you think it's funny like every other. Alright, hang on. I gotta fall back until the until the creatures are dead, because I can't. Oh man. Did you guys see the accuracy of that? All four of them in one hit. Beautiful. I gotta find a grenade refill, man. Oh yes, please be grenades. Oh yes, five grenades. I'm so happy. We've lost only one colonist, but obviously it wasn't my fault. That would be the creatures. But easy, easy, easy. Alright, luckily it's very, very forgiving as far as the radius is concerned. It gives it like a crazy, crazy radius.
Dang. I don't know if I should. It's fine. All right, down below, kids. Hey, Paragon plus 30, Renegade plus 2. We did it, kids. I'm a freaking hero. All right, the colony is left alive. We only lost one colonist, and I'm pretty sure it had nothing to do with me. And, uh, dump more points into that. And let's give her another lift. And then let's finish. All right, she's done with her shotgun, so let's give her, maybe give her a good electronics point. Fantastic. All right, now let's go ahead and give it a save, and then we will press on. All righty. Deeper into the bowels, as they say. All right. Tally. Oh, I was about to say. I, it's because it was highlighted. I thought she was on sh I thought she was on sniper rifles. I was like, what in the holy crap? But we're good. On to find the Thorian. Deeper, deeper we go. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it, what it, keep. What is that? We are gonna need bigger guns. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world. Extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will be the ground. Aha. Yeah, I'm accurate. Thanks for noticing. All right. Let's go. Creature. Ah, you felt that, didn't you? You big ugly blob. Mm hmm. That's right. And that's the plan. So let's do it. You want to go? Little creature. He's like, I'll spawn in once you're up, once you're at, above me. Oh, please. I ain't scared. Ow. Stand up, stand up. Also, a weapons locker. Couple of new things. We'll see if any of them are actually worth anything.
Man, me and Tally just crushing it with our shotguns. With the shotgun. Yeah, you like that, huh? Are you above us or behind us? I think you're above us. Alright, let's go, y'all. <laughs> Help me! Destroyed. All right, let's go. Good. You guys with me? They're fine. Alright, let's go ahead and switch to a uh, different weapon here. Hey, level up. All right, hang on though. We have a uh, free little thing to get here. Light armor, medium armor. Okay. Wake you up. Yeah, you feel that, huh? You like that, do you? Indeed we are, my friends. Indeed we are. Alright, let's go everybody. Guess we'll just pretend these guys aren't here. Oh, they're waking up as I pass. That's convenient. Guys, okay. Uh, Tally, if you could just kindly. All right. We got it. We got it. Although, huh? Seems to be awfully resistant to a sniper that hits really hard, so guess we'll just get closer then. Oh, he took a full shotgun blast. It's like Nazi zombies meets space. Alright, you seem to be awfully resistant to the snipers. Are you resist as resistant to shotguns? I don't think so. I 
suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need the Cypher. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> I have given you the Cypher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. 
In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Hey, we did it! Fantastic, everybody! You did it. Fantastic. Gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again, and we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Oh, you're welcome. We'll start over. Oh, it's not you. It's you. Station out in the ruins. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. All right, sixteen thousand. Holy crap! I'm so rich. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's. I think that's everything, everybody. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Alright. Let's go, everybody. We did it. Mission accomplished. I'm a freaking hero. I never All thought right. I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the... Okay. Uh, really what I wanted to see was just kind of what you had available. Equalizer, what is that? Five, six, seven, what, eight? Dang. Crazy, but yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, that's it. We're gone. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, little colony. I saved your lives. I saved your lives. We stopped the geth. Now we can go back to the Normandy. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. You must have seen something. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... Exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. Goodbye, Counselor. Oh, 
Lost the connection, ma'am. Sorry. It's like, don't you use this anti-human slur against me, you Turian punk. It's like, I know where you are, counselor. I will come for your stupid face. That anti-human garbage. Anti-human garbage. It's just like, he's like, you, the council's a bunch of morons. If they think for a second that they should capture the Thori so they can use it. You're so retarded. You deserve whatever happens to you. And then just throws in an anti-human slur. So it's like, oh, shut up, you dumb Turian. So it's like, I don't go around all ripping Turian's heads off, do I? No, I don't. It's just like, so how about you lay off, hmm? How about that? And if these stupid little loading spikes could knock it off, that would be pretty sweet, too. All right, go ahead and replenish that. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I just wanted to check to see if she had anything new. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and check our time, but I think that'll be perfect. Okay. Yep, this is where we are going to call it. So first, let's give it a save. First, let's give it a save. I do see that we did level up, but I'll wait till the next time that I have my party with me because obviously they leveled up too, so you might as well save time. Anyway, but yeah, so when we come back tomorrow, we will be t uh, going around our ship. We'll be checking in with all of our companions because obviously because a main story mission is complete, there'll be new dialogue and stuff most likely for most of them. And so we will go around, we'll talk with all of our companions, and then we'll turn in lots of side quests because looking at our journal here, uh, let's see, we have to go, so there, there's a side mission, we have some geth activities and another, and another mission, um, otherwise that's mostly it, so we don't have too many side missions yet, um, now the next main mission we have is Vermeer, but we'll talk with all of our companions, we'll hit these couple of side missions, and then we'll probably, maybe even head to Vermeer, so we'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, but yeah, so but obviously the first thing we'll do when we come back is chat with Liara and we will go around the ship and see what's new with the homeboys. Cool, so that's going to call for this one. So yeah, tomorrow should be, as far as I know, should be pretty regular. Should just be another Battle for Middle-Earth part and then the next part of this, to my knowledge. Anyway, that is going to call it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today and we will talk to you guys later.